Hello everyone, hope you're having a good day. We added four new things to the Nintendo Switch collection, two things that um, I added and two things that Amanda added. Switch is going to be growing the most, I think, more than any other console this year because of all the stuff that's been coming out. A lot of ports of older games and a lot of you know, like remasters and things like that and a few newer games that we were looking forward to. And as a big fan of 90s era Square, especially the PlayStation, the original PlayStation, I enjoyed Chocobo Racing on there, so I was very excited when a new Chocobo Racing game was coming out, Chocobo GP. And finally, I got from uh, PlayAsia, the English-supported physical complete edition. Really happy to grab this, just the way I did, had to do with the other Final Fantasies on the Switch. Those ports get the physical one. I'd import that and, you know, Chrono Cross coming soon. And I'm just very, very happy to have this because I love the original game. Uh, this just showed up. It was stuck in customs for a while, so this literally just came out. Uh, came to the mailbox 10 minutes ago and I picked it up. On the inside, it's like those Final Fantasy ones. It's just pure white with the cartridge on the inside. Nothing special. Just happy to actually get a physical copy, and I do love all the artwork on the cover in the back. Very mixed reviews on this so far. Um, I obviously just picked it up a few minutes ago, so I haven't played it yet. This is definitely going to be one I'm going to have to talk about, though, on you know, another one of those you know, like what I've been playing lately videos. Definitely after I play this quite a bit, I'm going to have to come on and talk about it because there seems to be a lot of monetization type issues with this. A lot of things locked definitely behind paywalls or extraordinary amounts of time to unlock things that would be kind of entices you to pay real money. and. I hate that they add stuff like that into these games. Uh, thankfully, it seems to be a little less invasive. You know, it's, it's not quite as heavy on the experience in the complete edition of the game. It's still very, very present for what it seems. So I'm gonna have to check it out and see what, you know, how it is. I but I don't play online. I don't really care about a lot of that stuff. You know, so maybe my experience will be a little bit better, especially that single player campaign, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. So uh, we will see. I'm just hoping it's not a, a disappointment based off of what I've been hearing because I love the original on PS1. It's a great game. I love the idea of it. it seems to be a lot of uh, Final Fantasy IX stuff in this one that I you know is my favorite Final Fantasy. So I'm still excited and you know, it was an expensive game anyway. So if it's not quite as good as the original, I still hope it's just a good fun time. So I'll be coming back and you'll hear me you know, talk about that after a while. And this is really cool. This is from South Korea. It is a steelbook for Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Really cool. And it's just a steelbook. I put my second copy of the game in there. So there's a copy in there as well. But yeah, this is just a really beautiful design. Really happy to grab this steelbook and add that to the collection for my favorite version now of my favorite game of all time. So it's beautiful. I just really love that. I love that iconic image, that cover from that version of the game and the original Wii cover. Just fantastic. That image is stuck in my mind for all time. Uh, now to that Amanda added to the collection recently. She's been playing a lot on the PlayStation 4, some of the stuff you, you know, saw her pick up just a few weeks ago, but she added two things. She had a, had a gift card and was able to get two games for free and like a book, I think. And one she added this uh, Griak Memories of Azure, which she showed me a little bit of, and it looks like a fun like side-scrolling action platformer like RPG type thing. I'm sort of a Metroidvania, Castlevania type thing, but uh, it's three siblings that each have their own sets of abilities and strengths and weaknesses and playing them together. So that looks like fun, one that she'll play and maybe she'll talk about that one in the future. Uh, this, she was talking about the other day, this is a 30 in one game collection. So it's 30 different mini like arcade type games. Uh, very, very you know, short, but you know, you play them over and over again, that type of mentality. You play each game a hundred times because each one just takes a few minutes and uh, just a lot. She was, was talking about getting something like this because these are harder and harder to get a nice physical collection of this type of stuff. This type of thing is gone. All digital is very much on like smartphones and tablets and that type of thing. And again, neither of us really want that. She wanted like a real physical collection of this kind of stuff. And we have things like the Genesis collection that have those arcade type games in there, but she wanted one that's just those kind of things. No RPGs, no fighting games, just a lot of just simple, fun puzzle games, little shooters, things with a great variety 
to just play after a long day at work, come home, just kind of relax for like 20 minutes and play something, that type of thing. And that's hard to get now. Then this, it looks pretty good from what I saw her play, you know, play a little bit. And she's been enjoying this. I think most nights after work, she's been popping this in for a little bit, uh, which is great. I was happy she was able to find exactly what she was looking for because again this type of thing is getting harder and harder to find and and you know, especially with a lot of our game collection we have a lot of racing games and that type of thing but uh, it's a lot of longer story driven things so it's harder to just pick something up for a few minutes and I you know I like that as well it's why I have like the Mr. Driller game on switch and that kind of stuff so a lot of fun very very exciting for the Nintendo switch I'm very happy it's a good variety of stuff and yeah I really want to check out Chocobo. Uh, there's just so much coming out for the Switch really, really soon. As I speak, the uh, Chrono Cross Remastered Physical Edition from PlayAsia that just went up, it's going live in just a few days uh, digitally, and then that is going to be shipping out within a few weeks, and we House of the Dead in June. A whole bunch of stuff over the summer, so that's going to be fantastic, a lot of fun. I'm still doing my replay of Xenoblade Chronicles X, I just couldn't resist doing it. Not doing a crazy thing, you know, not my 240 hour run that I did last time I played the game. Just a story playthrough. Uh, just to reminisce and have fun with that game. And then I'll be back on the Yakuza train. Be playing that and just took a little racing here and there. So I'll be back on the, the, the path to finishing all those Yakuza games. Uh, you know, I haven't strayed too far for too long. I'll get back on that because it's going to be a lot of fun. And hopefully you'll see me back on Wednesday again for more thrift store finds. Uh, and if not, have a great rest of your week.